Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. Friday, February 10th, 2023. Here's the story right off the freaking bat here. The issue with the debt market is definitely troubling here. We got bond yields coming up. Uh, that means bonds are selling off. The stock market doesn't like that here. Futures are lower. A couple of other things that are going on here. There's a little bit of a fear trade. You got a knee jerk higher into the dollar this morning. Crude oil is catching a bid. Uh, Russia is uh, saying they're going to be cutting production. Look, this all plays into what you and I already know. That is energy, crude oil going much, much higher. But I'll tell you what really bothers me, even more so than all this. This stuff is just what it is. But according to Bank of America, I mean, look, this is what you and I would have expected, but it's a terrible thing to see. Consumers, people like you and I here, obviously, are now using more of their credit just to cope with rising prices. Now, Bank of America is saying that they're making this statement because they see credit card use again. Um, unfortunately, people continue to borrow more just to make ends meet. This is the phenomenon that you and I knew was going to happen from a long time ago. We covered it right here on this blog, and it's not going to stop. This is part of the whole mechanism here to eliminate, erase, and make extinct an entire class of people. The middle class is going are going away, period, the end, being squashed to that lower rung of society. We are clearly moving back to a feudal system. This is the goal right now, collectively, of central banks, none more so than the Federal Reserve, and this is their real mission, and it is being fulfilled right before our eyeballs. So, you know, just as you and I would have expected, consumers are, are hurting more and more and more, and this is not going to stop. As long as the Fed, in this case, central banks around the world, continue to crush the economy by crushing the consumer, at the same time, inflation continues to rise, what would you expect to happen? Again, you don't need a crystal ball, or you don't have to be Nostradamus, or, or, or have some kind of divine power to see what's happening here. And I'm sure a lot of you out here are in the same boat. And I hate to hear that. I hate to see that. That's why you and me have got to weaponize the system they've weaponized against us. Period. That's what we're doing here. Understanding what they're trying to do, using the entire financial system as a means, means to an end here. This is why, again, I, I, uh, I'm trying so hard to get all of you in the right spots for the longer run here. In the shorter run, I've come out with not one, but two brand new trading systems. I'm not, say, I'm not saying all, anyone should be involved in this business of trading the market. It's, it's not easy. The last trading system I just put out is, 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 uh, very effective, okay, uh, but it's also complicated. Uh, I posted this in my free newsletter, link in the description of this video. Just because it's complicated doesn't mean you can't learn it. Um, realistically, with, with this system, you should easily and realistically do 5% per day on whatever your bankroll might be. Just do the math. It could equal to a lot of money here, okay? Uh, I'm trying to put together in my head something I can... Uh, get out to all of you, maybe I'll even try to do this tomorrow, how to set this up and how to use it. Again, it's just another tool tool that you and I can use to turn the tables on those that are trying to destroy us. And that's exactly what's going on here, people. Um, but if you were to listen to the mummy man himself or, you know, any, any, any of the mainstream propaganda ministries, they're going to tell you a whole different story. There's even some economic news coming out this morning uh, with regard to jobs. I didn't even pay attention to it because it's all fake. I am so sick of sitting here and regurgitating these fake numbers to all of you. I don't see the point of it anymore. Um, there's, there's, there's no accountability. Nothing is real anymore. Uh, again, going back to the fact that we have no representation here in this nation or anywhere, anywhere around the world. And this has been the goal of central banks since their inception, to one day control it all, to control the world. And we are here. We are in the middle of this 
uh, I, I don't think we've seen anything yet. The, the, the methods of control, we've already seen what they've done to us with this thing, with this thing, uh, and everything else connected to it. Uh, you know, this expanding war over there, which is going to get much, much worse. Count on it. Um, and again, why? Why? Let's just put a perspective on war. As you all know, war, the propagation of war, the expansion of war generates more cash for the military industrial complex than any other endeavor on this planet. You all know that. Okay. This is why you can count on perpetual war and expanding war here. Um, what does that do? It's uh, war. Don't take my word for, not, for, for what I'm about to say. I want you to look this up for yourself. War is very stock market positive. Absolutely. It picks up industrial production, the military industrial complex, which involves these multinational corporations here. They all do better. They all do better. While the population literally gets exterminated in the literal sense here. This is why they want to propagate war. And all of this is about control. It's also about population control. I think you all know that too. Um, this whole thing, as you are well aware of, I think if you follow this blog, is um, about control on, on an industrial scale. And that includes an elimination of a large percentage of the population of the planet Earth. Um, not just pushing them down to the lower rung of society, but getting rid of them all together here. And this is why I've been screaming from rooftops since forever that we are going to face a moment here of, of, of a scarcity of resources on a biblical level. I mean, let's just put that together real quick here. You already know the game. Debt market is a time bomb. It's going to implode. A debt market implosion is going to wipe out the global stock markets. Cash is going to move into commodities. Inflation is going to surge. But in the midst of all this, we've already seen an inkling of this during the whole, you know, uh, scam-demic here. You can't even say that anymore. I've got to be really careful about what I say out here. Um, supply chains are going to disappear. Resources are going to become extremely scarce. Uh, and, and people are going to be forced to deal with uh, starvation, hunger, thirst, uh, exorbitant prices with regard to energy. This is how it's being set up. Um, and you can see this. I mean, even if you have just a few functioning brain cells, and I know you do if you follow this blog, you can put the pieces together. You can see where we're going. Why do you think, for example, you got the propaganda ministry with the distractions, the deceptions, the look here's, the don't look there? They do not want people to engage their brain at all or even their intuition. Look, all of us have a God given gift of intuition. People know the truth when they hear it. If you can just open your mind for a moment, look at the way things are being set up, you can see where we're going. We're not having to do all the kind of research behind it that I do. You understand? Um, anyway, I hope this makes sense to you. I really, really do. So let's just go back to this market right now. We got a 10 year yield that's higher. We have a dollar relative strength that's higher. The MMRI, Manorino Market Risk Indicator, is higher. We're getting closer and closer to that first red line in the sand, which is 250. We're at like 238 right now. We could hit 250 in a nanosecond, and the market, I can promise you, is not going to like it. It doesn't mean that we're going to crash or melt down at that point, because I still believe, and I could be wrong on this, okay? And I, I believe central banks aren't done. That's the reason why... I keep explaining that I believe we're going to see some kind of action here in the debt market to keep rates suppressed for longer as central banks acquire more assets. Their goal is to own it all. I don't think they're happy with the current assets on their books that they bought with the product that they issue out of nothing. Think about this. Central banks, one and single product is debt. That's all they do. They issue debt and they they issue debt through one door, they buy it back through another door. In the meantime, they're using their product, okay? They can print cash out of thin air, uh, add it to a digital screen, whatever they want to. That's their product, and they're using that product to acquire assets. Could you imagine? It's, it's, it, 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 you know, it's counterfeiting. It, it's a Ponzi scheme. But that's what they're doing. Central banks around the world, none more so than the Federal Reserve. Where's the out outrage? Where's the uproar? Where's the outcry? Nowhere. It's nowhere. 
They've lulled the global population into a sense of they feel like this is normal. And this is not normal. This is not how the system was supposed to work. You understand? People lose sight of these things, okay? This is why we were supposed to have a gold standard. It was supposed to restrain spending, restrain wars. If we had a commodity-backed currency, we would not be able to spend into oblivion. We would have a wealth-based system, not a debt-based system. And a wealth-based system would take away central bank's power. This is why we'll never have a gold standard again, a commodity-backed system again. You understand? Anyway, I think you do. I really hope you do if you follow this blog. You, I don't think anyone understands the current twisted system more than you do. But I want to hear from you. Did, did, have I said anything here that makes sense to you? Does it make sense to you? Do you see things unfolding as I have outlined here in this video, as we have discussed over and over again? It's happening right before our eyes, people. Go back to my older videos and look at them. And then look at where we are now. You can see that it's progressing pretty much exactly how we expected it to progress. And I'm telling you right here and right now, we'll look back on this video in, in a couple of years or a couple of months. You're going to see things getting much, much worse from where they are, they are now. More control, more war, more suffering of the people, more debt on an unprecedented scale as people are getting crushed to death as central banks fulfill their end game. What are we going to do about it? Look, from a financial standpoint, I've explained to you what I believe you should do. Okay, bidding against the debt, becoming your own central bank, realizing global debt is going to continue to inflate way, way higher than it is right now. Looking down the line here uh, with regard to owning commodities here, realizing where energy is going to go in the future. You can already see it now. Um, you know, having a diversified portfolio for now, at least for now, and with some caution. Okay, there's always caution being long the market, owning companies that pay you to to own them, you understand? But this whole thing is gonna get real. So, you know, I have the ability to get out of this market in, in a nanosecond, okay? Because I do all my own investing and moving my own cash around every day. If you're relying on a, another party to do that, you're in a lot of trouble. Um, maybe you should j just stick to betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank, understanding the, the bigger picture, where we are going, you understand? Knowledge is power, okay? And I feel like we, by having this knowledge, understanding the game, we are the resistance. We are the resistance because we're taking the system, we're weaponizing it against those that are trying to kill us in the literal sense. At the same time, we're trying to get this message out there. We're trying to get more people to understand the situation. You understand? At least I hope so. All right, look, I will see all of you from my live stream. 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure that you're not only subscribed to the channel, but you're, you hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing those live streams. You know when my new videos come out. You understand? All right. Love you a lot, people. I want to hear from you. Please comment here. Greg, you're way off base. Greg, you're on target. Let me know where you think I'm at. And I want to know where you're at, too. All right? I'll see you later. That's all.